Sergio Martinez just put Paul Williams to sleep. I mean, now that Paul Williams got knocked the hell out, what can we expect in the future for both fighters? Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for JR Sport Brief. So in a fight that was very anticlimactic, I actually picked Paul Williams to win in a close fight. You can watch that video right there. Sergio Martinez just knocked out Paul Williams in the second round. And I know everybody was expecting this fight to kind of look like the first damn fight. To have these two guys whooping each other's asses and guys going down. And unlike the first fight where both fighters went down early in the match, Paul Williams got knocked the hell out with what? I think it was like a left hook and he did not get back up. And I mean, people are going crazy about it right now on, on Facebook. But the fact remains that look, Nobody ever wants to fight Paul Williams. And Sergio Martinez, we have no idea what the hell is next for this guy. I mean, who are some other middleweight contenders? I mean, Max Kellerman is on TV running his mouth about Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Pacquiao. And nobody ever wants to fight Paul Williams. So what do you think is next for both fighters? I mean, maybe Paul Williams fights Kermit Centron again and Centron just goes flying out the ring. Let me know what you think. What's next? I have to go watch uh, UFC right now, Machida and Rampage. And by the time you see this video, that fight may already be on. This is JR. Go find me on Twitter. Go find me on Facebook. I mean, Paul Williams, this guy did the Ricky Hatton. That should be a new dance. Like, just dudes just ended up face down on the ground. I am out. Peace.